and I now give the floor to Mr. Antonio Vitorino. Thank you so much, uh, Madam President, uh, and thank you for giving to IOM the opportunity to speak to you today. As it has just been said by Kelly, more than 12 million Ukrainians and third country nationals have already been forced to leave their homes since the beginning of this uh, war. About uh, 5 million people have fled the country, according to the data collected by UNHCR. Another 7.1 million people are displaced inside Ukraine, according to the latest assessment by IOM's displacement tracking metrics. When I recently visited some of the concerned neighboring countries, I saw firsthand the price that civilians are paying for this conflict. Women and children, the elderly, and people with disabilities have been disproportionately affected as they all represent a highly vulnerable group of people. As the war continues and even intensifies, psychosocial needs will undoubtedly further increase. We are scaling up our efforts to address them in Ukraine and in neighboring countries through activities ranging from training first-line responders in a psychosocial first aid to increasing the capacity of our established hotlines that provide the psychosocial support. For that purpose, we are benefiting from the mobilization of the Ukrainian diaspora worldwide. Madam President, let me just conclude by reiterating our commitment to stay and deliver in Ukraine and in the neighboring countries to support and to provide assistance to the Ukrainians and third country nationals that are so severely impacted by the war. And uh, I will just add that I want to reiterate and strongly echo the Secretary General's repeated call for an urgent, very urgent humanitarian ceasefire and above all, for peace. Yes, for peace. I thank you, Madam President.